Well, we set up the Amanda Hansen Foundation after our daughter had passed away from carbon monoxide poisoning. And the purpose of the foundation is, is to distribute CO detectors into every home. Um, we do a lot of different shows and events where we go out and we pass them out. Uh, we purchase all the CO detectors you know, through the foundation and distribute them that way. Well, Amanda went to a sleepover that night on uh, January 17th. She went to a sleepover at a friend's house and um, it was a faulty furnace and she had passed away from carbon monoxide. So since then, you know, we just started doing a lot of different things. We had Amanda's Law passed in New York State. Um, we had scholarship funds set up. We had parks renamed. We've had a lot done since then. And right now we're working on taking the law national. I've known uh, Bill for like the last 20 years as a friend and we had gotten together actually last year at one point and said we wanted to do something together to help promote carbon monoxide. And we got together you know, a couple months ago and we started working on a uh, plan to do a dis distribution at TOPS. He's helped us get you know, the message out on TV a little bit more and he, he helped us get you know, 500 more CO detectors into homes. You know, so we know at least there's 500 more families that are safe. Bill believes a lot in the community and, and helping people and doing, you know, different projects around. So he's, you know, he's active with a lot of different organizations. We see many stories, you know, you know, and letters and emails from people that we have saved their lives or we, we've helped and they just feel safer knowing, you know, because of us getting the word out that they have, you know, protected their family now from it. So we do get a lot of, you know, thank you. And not just from New York State, we get it from all over the country. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read a letter to you from one of our uh, people that we've helped save. I just wanted to send a quick note of thanks. My husband and I moved into our home in December. A few weeks after moving in, we saw your commercial for carbon monoxide detectors. My husband and I looked around and discovered that we did not have any in the home. The following week, we, we were, were in, in Home Depot, Depot and I remembered the commercial. We decided to buy two right away. Within a week we had them installed, never imagining that we would ever need them. Two nights ago I awoke at 3 a.m. to an alarm going off. Not knowing what it was, I awoke my husband. We discovered both alarms were going off. We called 911, woke up our son and went, went out to, to the car. car. When the firemen arrived, it was determined that we did have high levels of carbon monoxide in the house resulting from a problem with our furnace. Luckily, we were fine. No one felt sick. Within an hour, we were back in the house. As it had not been, been for your commercial, commercial, I don't know what would have happened. On behalf of myself, my husband, and our eight-year-old son, I just wanted to say thank you for saving us from becoming ill or worse. Continue to spread the message until everyone has carbon monoxide detectors. I know that I am telling everyone my story to make sure that they have them in their homes. Sign Kim. Carbon monoxide has always been around. It's always going to be there. It's, you know, people don't, you, they got to learn the symptoms of it. I mean, that's the first main thing. Learn that, you know, you're going to feel dizzy, nauseous, or tired, you know. There's a symptom, a lot of times people think it's the flu or they're just worn out from the day. Um, so you got to learn the symptoms first, I mean, that's important. The second thing is having that CO detector in the house. You know, that's going to be your biggest lifesaver. There's just no other way around it. Um, and again, get your furnace, your, all your, anything gas appliance in your house, get it checked. Get it done. It's, it's going to save your family.